this is not the video that I wanted to drop but I guess it was gonna happen at some point and today is unfortunately that day. So let's go. Yeah. Welcome everyone. My name is Noma Swazi and I review black owned brands. If this is your first time here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to like this video as well. And to my returning subscribers, you guys already know you mean the world to me. Your support means everything to me. Thank you. And let's get into today's video. <laughs> with today's video i have to address the elephant in the room is that there is no product ah. why is there no product because i couldn't find it uh so i was in two minds about making this video it was do i try again next week and try to make this video next week and then do another video today or do i just talk about my experience thus far and I decided let's just talk about my experience thus far and so for you guys I'm sure you can see already in the title the video was supposed to be about BT signature which is boy D cider um, and I went to a shop right I've gone to a shop right or my aunt actually because she went on my behalf has gone to shop right twice and has not been able to find this product and it costs money to go to a place and come back empty-handed only to go again and so i I'm, I'm frustrated at this point but i figured uh whenever that works out we'll sort it out then but on to the actual video boy di tulo uh Disclaimer first, I am a big fan. I am a fan of Boy D. Tulo. Um, I like her activism. I like that she's a really outspoken celebrity. I don't want this video to be taken as just me just trying to create mess. That's not what it is at all. Uh, but this is my experience as a customer of her brand. And so I just want this to be taken as that, that this is my personal thoughts my personal opinions and this is what i have experienced so far with her brand so boiti tulo launched this officially on the 1st of april so this is just before easter weekend which was a perfect time to actually announce this but i do feel like it was rushed a little bit hold up let me get a drink yeah so my initial idea for this was i'm gonna get a panini and i'm gonna get a brutal and i'm gonna get an ice tropez so that we can actually just kind of compare because that's kind of the market that she was targeting uh but i can't do that but in the meantime i've got my bernini so this is the bernini classic i prefer this to the blush Y'all might hate me. I'm not a big cider fan. Anyone that knows me knows this. Um, yeah, if you know my channel, <laughs> then you know that I don't really like ciders. And so that's part of the reason why I just don't, I, I don't like the idea of having to run around CBD or run around Joburg looking for a product in 2021. There's no need. Absolutely no need at all. So let's let's get into it so she launched this on the 1st of april i want to read out her tweet as to what the implications of how this tweet was worded right it says make every occasion a hashtag bt signature occasion hurry up and grab your pack of bt signature sparkling frizzante or the non-alcoholic version at all stores nationwide and make it a long weekend to remember the implication of this tweet tells me that number one this product is available at all shop right so i shouldn't have to run around looking for a specific shop right to buy this at second implication is that this is available immediately right it is now the 15th of april as i record this and i can't find it at a shop right right so the first time i went i went to a checker store because i was hoping that Checkers might also have it. Uh, checkers didn't have it. And so I asked a family member, I asked my aunt 
because she stays closer to Alex than I do if she could just go and hopefully get it and then bring it to me and she said yeah she went twice and she couldn't find it okay at this point I do have my videos on a schedule I don't want to mess up my schedule too much this video was initially supposed to come out last week and my self-care video was supposed to come out this week but because I couldn't find the drink last week I I had already filmed it before so I just released it last week plus it worked out because at that point um, the pastry had also pastry skincare line had also just been introduced but this one I wanted to get out this week so already as a customer I'm not really happy with that there is a accompaniment of the fact that this product is a hundred rand for a four pack right so the four pack comes in at a hundred rand it doesn't come in the six pack and its competitors the other brands that make frizzantes which is bernini and uh brutal those are like the bigger frizzantes i bought this for 70 rand for a six pack and i bought and this was at pick and pay liquor and then i think the brutal i didn't end up going uh to buy the brutal but like the brutal was around about the same 70 80 rand and this is for a six pack that means that the 24 pack with bt signature is about 600 rand and in comparison to its competitors it is almost triple the amount that you pay for a normal six pack of alcohol another problem with this is that ShopRite is targeted at lower income earners so it doesn't make sense to have a premium product that is coming out and you're only the only way it's available is at a place where those particular shops are targeted at lower income earners i'm not gonna walk into a shop and buy the 600 rand cider where there's a 200 rand cider for 24. it's not gonna happen another thing to look at is the alcohol content bt signature comes in at 4.5 percent alcohol bernini is this one is the same so 4.5 percent so i'm paying triple but i'm getting the same amount of alcohol percentage but i'm getting less alcohol like so if i buy the six pack versus a four pack i'm not getting i'm losing two and i'm not getting that back in any way another thing is it's very easy to say it's a premium product and that could be it but like bt signature essentially is just another cider there's nothing new about it it's not besides the fact that it's peach flavored there's nothing unique about this product besides the flavor there's nothing so the uniqueness doesn't make the price point make sense there's nothing as a consumer just because Waitie's name is attached to it there's no there's no need for me to buy it like they haven't said what makes it unique what makes it better i feel like with this brand they've kind of focused on the aesthetics and the fact that it is Boy D. Tulo's product versus actually looking at the mechanics of running a brand. I did DM them to ask them, where is the stock? Because I'd actually like to get this product and I didn't get an answer. But beyond that, it's at this point, if you're running a brand and I'm trying to give you my money, I should not need to run after you to give you my money. That power dynamic doesn't make sense. So I feel like there was a lot more focus on the launch and getting the pretty pictures and making sure that everything looks right. But in terms of the actual foresight for the brand, I don't, I don't see its sustainability. I don't see, I don't see why, what makes the product triple times more expensive than an already tried and tested brand.
I don't, there's no, there's no reason for me to leave what I'm already drinking for this besides the fact that it's peach flavored and Wojti's name is attached to it. For this next part, I'm going to switch up the drink. It almost feels like she is competing with a different brand altogether. The brand that she seems to be competing with is this. Ice Tropez. Ice Tropez is a French brand. They do wine coolers. What is a wine cooler? A wine cooler is a wine cocktail, right? A wine cocktail, it smells nice. A wine cocktail, it's wine based, but the reason why this is higher, i.e. I paid 52 Rand for this. The reason why this comes in higher is because Firstly, it's not made of any other fruit. It's made from grapes, right? And grapes are a premium fruit. This is why champagnes and wines and anything, anything attached to a grape is more expensive, right? With a frizzante, you are paying for barley and fruit because it's still a mixture of a beer and a cider, right? Or, yeah, so it's it's got some barley in there. Whereas this is just made from um, a wine. It's made from wine. The base is a grape. And then this is flavored. So it's a pre-mixed cocktail with apricot flavor. This little baby is 52 red. It's this high because it's imported. It's not a local brand. So this is why the taste is different. This is why... It doesn't, it's very gentle actually. I haven't had this in years. I'm not a big Ice Tropez fan. I don't like wine coolers. Um, it is the best wine cooler, but that being said, it doesn't really hold any weight to me. But this actually has a reason for being expensive. It's an imported brand, right? It's not a cider at all. This is not a cider. It's a wine cocktail essentially and this is peach flavored and i feel like boydi was trying to compete with this while doing this and in theory this would work but right after a pandemic and right in the middle of a pandemic and where there's actually no there's no payoff for having this instead of this but paying this price there's no payoff. And so I don't I don't think that her team thought this through. Um, and I don't see the longevity of BT Signature. I could be wrong and I'd love to be proven wrong. But that's just my thoughts on it right now. Oh, and for uh, comparison's sake, this is 6.5% alcohol. Versus, again paying a hundred bucks for a four pack to get 4.5% alcohol. And yeah, that's my thoughts on BT Signature. I would still love to taste it and eventually I think I will, but I really do feel like the marketing was not and the foresight was not there when choosing and when going forward with this brand. And I hope they just go back to the drawing table and they work on certain things the price point being one of them and maybe even the size packaging because it just it I don't see the payoff for the customer in this and that makes it unsustainable at this point. Yeah, in conclusion, the things that I wanted to rate this particular drink on would be price point in terms of how it relates to other brands in its category and as a frizzante those brands would be Bernini as well as um brutal and in terms of that um just and in terms of that it price point wise i'd rather pay for a six pack and pay less from a brand that I already know what to expect versus taking a gamble, paying a lot more and not being sure of what, what I'm getting out of it. Um, 
in terms of the packaging uh, if you guys have seen already the pictures of BT signature it does look very similar to the same similar concept design of a brutal or of a Benini, so that's more um, close together uh, I guess in terms of its price point it was trying to compete or be a love child of a wine cooler and a frizzante and that would put that price point or make that price point to make a bit more sense and in terms of that then I guess it was going for the ice tropez market but with that price I'd rather you give me another version of ice tropez versus what you've given me was it ice trope I'm not sure it's probably ice trope I don't drink this thing I don't know apologies if I said it wrong that being said I I really wanted to enjoy this I really and and the fact that even with accessibility that's an issue because you're selling a premium product only at places that cater to lower to a lower income households that makes it very difficult where where's your clientele supposed to come and and buy your product you know um, in in the ad that was shown it was supposed to be this is for every occasion but if I can't get there and if I can't get it because it's not available on the check of 60 app and and there's there's so many limitations and I get this for a startup but if you're boy di tulo and from what I've seen this is you are under the the crone um, family or the crone corporation then crone should have made sure that this deal makes sense money wise as well i i'm not sure how this got the green light the way it is i think it's a great concept we don't have a like bringing different flavors of risantes that's that's great i think the only other thing we have is like what the the amber i'm not sure what the bernini amber flavor is it might be peach it might be so if you're going i think it is peach actually so if you're going and you're competing with that then that's great but you can't compete with that and then outprice yourself out of the market i don't think they understood who was supposed to buy this product i don't think they understood the longevity of this because now it seems like a bit of a cash grab because I, I don't see how this will last 5, 10, 15 years. If already on its initial day, it's already outpriced itself out of the market. Plus, because you're part of the Crone organization, I would have actually preferred if you gave us this. Because this is clearly what you were going for. Before filming this, I really did watch um, someone else review it. And they did say that the one thing about... Um, your about the bt signature uh cider is that it's very light very easy on the palate um it shouldn't be it should be served chilled and not mixed with ice and it's got a very dainty flavor like it's not strong but it is apparent that it is peach and if that's the case then it's definitely what you were trying to give us here because that's exactly how i'd actually say this tastes like this tastes very very dainty the peach flavor comes through i it's not a great peach flavor but it comes through um i'm not a big peach fan so please don't kill me I, i'm not dissing this this is a it's nice for the people that like it um but it's very light, very easy on the palate. You drink a lot more. But you're giving us this in terms of price and in terms of flavor, but not in terms of alcohol content. And this is still an unknown brand. We don't know anything about. We don't know how good it tastes. We don't know. There's certain things. Like you have not built up that rapport with um, your clientele. I don't think they know which clientele they're catering to and that's apparent because you're selling a premium product but you're not delivering a premium service and i shouldn't as a customer have to run after the product itself so um i mean that's all i can say really about this 
um yeah i hope y'all have a good day no but like honestly i i still wish Boiti uh all the best i i hope that they go back to the drawing board and rework this a little bit even if it's just in terms of make sure that it's available at pick and pay like or at checkers as well um something you know at least let it be available online just just accessibility would go a long way um accessibility marketability probably we look at that a little bit and have a look at your price points as well because you're out pricing yourself out of the market um yeah that's all i have to say but anyway guys please let me know if you have tried it let me know what it tastes like i'd really actually love to know um and let me know if you actually want to see a video of me still reviewing the actual product without the politics aside i'd if that's it then i'd love to give that to you but anyway thank you and if you're still here please do subscribe and like the video and share um i don't always rant i promise and we're nice here <laughs> thank you so much and have a great day bye